I ain't gonna lie, I feel like I'm the only person in the world besides a couple of my homeboys who still like Ian music. Uh, as you probably have heard, Tyler Creator did say this about Ian. This white kid, regular like Caucasian man, and he's like mocking Future and Gucci Mane like rap music. And like people are like, this shit hard. So pretty much ever since Tyler went on this podcast, I think this was uh, Mav Carter's podcast. Ever since Tyler Creator came on this podcast and he said this about Ian, there's been a swarm of hate just coming out of nowhere. Everybody coming out of Woodward saying they don't like Ian. Like they wasn't just bumping him three months ago when he was talking about my big brother like Munchstein Lynch. He'll run through somebody. Like we got people genuinely saying, I'm definitely judging your music taste if you actually think that that Ian guy is talented in any way imaginable. It's actually embarrassing how easily people would eat up a marketing campaign that's so blatant and what it's trying to do obviously this is when all the hate starts we got people saying he's right then we got some people saying ian makes better ox music compared to tyler which is true he doesn't make better music now if we're talking ox music you in a car with the homies you want to bump some ian is hitting harder in the car than tyler creator then we got people saying tyler mocked eminem kanye mf doom troy and for real then then you got people blatantly crashing out talking about on my life we're bumping ian before tyler the creator now me i am bumping ian before tyler the creator i got more ian on my playlist than Tyler and Creator just because that's just never even when I was younger I never even bumped Tyler Creator like I didn't even know who, I didn't even know who Tyler Creator was not not I didn't know who he was but I didn't start listening to his music until I see you again I'm not even a Tyler Creator hater but like I enjoy Tyler the Creator's music I enjoy both of their music I don't know why we can't respect white people taking influence from black culture and putting their own kind of little twist to it it's not even like Ian's music has been sounding like this from the beginning but let me not get sidetracked like I'm definitely like I'm still definitely bumping Tyler the Creator and I'm still definitely bumping Ian then we got some people saying not gonna lie he sounds like an old head which he which he kind of does just a tad he low-key does sound like an old head <laughs> then we got another guy Astro says how the is it mocking when he clearly is just inspired by him why is he being so weird astro has the same thought the same take that i have but we're gonna get to that later this put the community in so much shambles that tyler got people pulling the racism card for the white it's not like i don't i understand kind of where he's coming from with this take but at the same time it's like okay let's just chill a little bit though you know what i'm saying like i feel him but <laughs> Now Ian's manager took to Instagram, his ass right there, boo. He said, yo, at Felicia the GOAT, I signed Ian and I'm from Atlanta. He sounds nothing like Gucci or Future, LOL. It's called influence. I never thought I'd see the day where you become old and hate on the youth, LOL. I, I agree with boo a little bit. He doesn't sound like Future or Gucci, man. I mean, I mean, like, guess, see that right there is producers. Like Soprano, his producer, he uses some of the some of the sounds or like the, the elements that Gucci man used to use in his beats back in like, I don't know, when was Gucci man popping? Like, I don't even remember but yeah like he uses some of the same instruments and stuff like that in his beats i guess that's where they're coming up with this like weird comparison i don't know really ever since this point like ian has been getting crazy unnecessary hate like even on the snippets like if kuriko or however you say that twitter um posts anything about ian in the comments it's just straight hate it was never like this like never i guess because tyler popped out and said how he actually felt about ian it opened doors for everybody else to think that they could just state their opinion even though nobody really cares i don't think nobody is actually nobody actually dislikes him they're kind of just riding waves it's kind of a thing to just hate on people for no reason or just to hate on people to get a few likes you feel what i'm saying that's really all this is like oh my god if y'all remember bro when he first came out everybody's posting the snippets that my big brother like my sean lynch he'll run through somebody everybody know that snippet bro everybody was loving him they like oh this white boy next up it only took tyler the creator to speak about him for everybody to turn ties on him of course he's still gonna have his fan base and he's gonna be perfectly fine but actually i think tyler's gonna end up coming around or you know the people in the industry like they're gonna end up working with ian bro like nobody's really studying what tyler the creator is talking about to be honest i'm not taking tyler the creator away from that the people in the industry the main rappers who are lit right now don't care about rapping as much as tyler the creator they don't care about rapping at all they started rapping to get money nobody cares about the art of rapping anymore you can rap on band lab anybody could come in and say and they hit like 100k 100k plays on soundcloud bro so it's like how serious it used to be taken is not taken that serious anymore by everybody else except for a handful of people so we can't really hold this standard to you gotta be in love with the form of music you gotta be in love with rap you gotta be in love with all that bro it's not like that no more but tyler is still in that mindset now y'all know you know what i'm saying towards the end of the videos i like to give my own opinion now i'm gonna be honest i don't think this is copying gucci man i don't i i 
seriously do not think he's mocking copying none of that this is truly just him taking inspiration maybe he likes i don't know i don't know if this is crazy to think but maybe he likes rap music and he just wants to listen to rap or like he wants to be a rapper probably grew up probably had some black friends bro and they used to play gucci Mane, the migos and other artists like that and he was like oh man this hard and what if he wants to make music you feel what i'm saying like i i don't understand what's the big issue about that now another thing is this new ian the never stop ian the valedictorian Ian that everybody's gassing up isn't the same Ian who was making making stuff like the Jor and and all of, all of his older music doesn't sound like the music right now when he started hopping on the soprano beats and all that and changed his sound to the more Atlanta or uh, Gucci Mane future sound that Tyler's talking about that's when all of his fans came like not all of them but a high percentage of his fans came a small bit of Ian fans are from his ambient music like his old music you feel me but I'm not gonna lie I'm off that bro because um it, it genuinely it genuinely it genuinely gets me tight bro so I'm, I'm i'm done with that but ian did put out a new snippet though so we're we gonna watch that real quick it's already a different type beat this ain't that gucci main future whatever tyler was talking about that time we spent together my favorite and i don't really feel like flipping the page yet i'm trying to run from this shit but it keep chasing a honey bun for this whip not the cheap pastry i'm still like bro that was that was his more ambient sound like you can go find it in his older music but that is the sound that he gained some of his original fans from that never stopped valedictorian Ian. that's new Ian, bro and this is a he's snipping in this so i'm guessing he's gonna bring this back bring back this old ambient sound and maybe drop a tape or a single or two like we don't know he, he really needs to push through keep pumping out this music bro because nobody really i'm not trying to hear what Tyler the creator talking about i like the music so i'm trying to keep this um but yeah though uh i don't got no drink today crow still here though i appreciate y'all boys for watching bro i'm out of here